We'll begin in Gwinnett County, where the search is underway for the person who opened fire at an Applebee's parking lot. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Alex Whitler. And for Courtney Bryant, one person was killed in the shooting on Stone Mountain Highway. Fox 5's Tyler Finger joins us live from the scene with the very latest from police. Good evening, Tyler. Yeah, hey, Alex, good evening to you. Still a lot of questions about what happened inside this parking lot. Right now, police haven't released many details, but say it may have been a shootout. It was kind of shocking. You know, you know, we don't usually see that. Brandon Sims and his clients have a lot to talk about at Heads Up Barbershop on Stone Mountain Highway. His clippers aren't the only thing buzzing as they talk about the overnight deadly shooting in the parking lot they share with O'Reilly Auto Parts and Applebee's. Everybody either knew about it coming in or they seen it on the on the news. So yeah, everybody definitely been asking about it. Gwinnett County investigators say the gunfire erupted around 1030 Monday night in the Applebee's parking lot on Highway 78. Police say the victim ended up between the restaurant and the O'Reilly Auto Parts. Sim says the barber shop was wasn't open at the time, but it's shocking it happened so close. Craziest thing that maybe happened out here, we had like a car catch on fire in the parking lot, but shooting, definitely unusual. Gwinnett County Police haven't said what sparked the shooting, but think both people involved fired guns. At this point, detectives don't believe the victim ate at the restaurant before the shots rang out. The original 911 call came in from a passerby who was in the parking lot who then notified us, and we're looking to see if he or she has any valuable information about this homicide. For now, no one is in custody, but Sims hopes that changes soon. It's just something to definitely be concerned about, but uh, you know, hopefully Gwinnett County can, uh, you know, figure out who did it or figure out whatever the circumstances. Investigators hope surveillance cameras in the area can help them ID the suspect in this case, but at this point, they have not released any details about that person. If you know anything, you're asked to call the Gwinnett County Police Department. We're live in Gwinnett County tonight. Tyler Finger. Wow. Just so frightening for those restaurant patrons. Tyler, thanks.